Good morning, everyone. I'm here to talk about the nutritional guidelines that have been the topic of discussion lately. As a pizza, I want to say that I am often misunderstood and outright maligned by the woke establishment when it comes to my nutritional value. Many libtards consider me to be junk food, but I assure you that I am a vegetable. First of all, let's talk about my components. I have cheese, tomato sauce, and crust, which is much more than what those freeloading salads offer. Cheese is a good source of protein and calcium, and tomato sauce is made from tomatoes, which are rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. The crust can be made with whole wheat flour, which is a complex carbohydrate that provides energy to the body. Now, some leftists say that I am not a vegetable because all I have is tomato sauce. While it's true that tomatoes are a fruit, which ironically liberals like Nancy Pelosi denied for years, they are often used as a vegetable in cooking. So in fact, I am a fruit and a vegetable, which is much more than most people ever amount to. As a pizza, I am not a part of a balanced diet. I am a balanced diet. And there is nothing remotely hypothetical about that. Mr. Pizza, how do you respond to the allegations that in your youth you put pineapple on yourself? I cannot believe you have the gall to bring up my past like that. Obviously a question from the Washington Post. Well, as a young and inexperienced pizza, I admit that I did experiment with different toppings, which is what America is all about. Sure, pineapple may not be for everyone, and it wasn't for me ultimately too pro-union, but I stand by my right to have tried it. However, as I matured and gained more wisdom, something that I'd like to see the writers at rags like WAPO do, I have come to realize that classic toppings such as cheese, sausage, mushrooms, and even anchovies, are you triggered by that, are the best way to go. I would like to urge all pizzas that care about our country to stick to the tried and true toppings that have stood the test of time. Um, sir, isn't it true that you are paid for by the big pizza lobby? This is slander. I take nothing from special interests, not one packet of red pepper, and I dare anyone, even AOC, to prove that I am part of some vast PragerU pro-pie conspiracy. I mean, honestly, this is despicable. Bottom of the barrel, top of the shit pile. Hunter Biden opens 400 Turkish ice cream stands in New South Wales, but I, a humble pizza who is only here to plead the truth about my status as vegetable, is maligned. You should be ashamed. Mr. Pizza, what is your goal for this year's school lunches? How will you attain it? Finally, a good question. Well, the truth is, I don't think children should eat at school ever. School isn't about eating. Again, libtards just don't know what education even is. Statistics show that a well-fed child is a child that has no incentive to pass algebra. Numerous studies have proven this. In fact, my own children don't eat, at least not until they've had their one-hour rifle practice at the range and memorized that week's paragraph from the Reagan Diaries. Mr. Pizza, a representative from the Vegan Consumer Protection Association, VCPA, has accused you of being resistant to non-dairy and non-meat options. What is your response? Okay, seriously guys? Really? Soy sauge and rice cheese are an abomination. Read about it, it's in the Torah. The VCPA are godless mutants hell-bent on veganizing freedom out of existence. I am proud to be the target of such a so-called consumer protection agency that has gone out of their way time and time again to send their minions of Antifa after my dear friend Papa John and Donald Crust First Hut. So, to clarify, I am not resistant. I am 100,000% contrary to all that attempts to veil itself as dairy or meat without having ever been sucked or scraped off of a bovine by the hands of our patriotic American farmers. No more questions. That's it.